Hey my loves, welcome back for another video. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'm Ashley and today we're going to be slaying this gorgeous lace wig. She came courtesy of Superb Wig and of course I'm going to slay her from start to finish. But more specifically, we're going to be doing some wand curls. So this is the inside construction of the cap. This is a 20 inch straight lace wig. It came equipped with the elastic band. They also included your wig caps. And what's so cool and special about this one is this is the new 2.0 fake scalp wig. But it's more like the double fake scalp lace wig. So you definitely won't need a wig cap or anything like that. It's also pre-plucked in the front. I kind of gave you a close-up of what it looked like beforehand. I did go in and tweeze like very minimal. The frame or um, the tutorial portion of me tweezing it was completely, completely out of frame. Sorry about that, so I had to cut the clips. But pretty much this is what it looks like behind the parting. Always go in when you can and pluck your hairline just to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, for me, this is absolutely perfect. I don't like to over overpluck my or tweeze it too much but of course you can definitely go in a little bit more so I'm gonna go in and bond it down today we are using the got to be glue brand and I'm just gonna go in and apply a generous amount along the entire hairline and then I'm gonna blow dry it dry on my cool setting of the blow dryer you can also let it air dry or you can add a um, scarf around it until it dries all of that will work just fine, but I do feel like I get a tighter hold when I use the blow dryer. Next, go ahead and cut off the excess lace. You can go ahead and use scissors or you can use a razor, specifically an eyebrow razor. Just be careful not to cut yourself. So now we're going to go ahead and form the baby hair. For me, I don't like to like part out a specific straight line of baby hair. I think that looks way too unnatural. So I kind of just go in and separate pieces here and there. And if it looks a little bit too straight, I'll fix it, you know, as I go. But I kind of just will look at it and try it for size and see if it's too much hair, if it's not enough hair. Today, I really wanted to do baby hair like all around the entire hairline. So of course, I went ahead and parted hair or yeah, basically hair for baby hair around the entire perimeter. But of course, if you have a specific area where you want to do baby hair, you will not need to cut or trim down baby hair around the entire hairline. So I did trim the hair down a little bit longer than needed you guys can see with the swoops as the hair like swoops back into the hair it is pretty long so after the fact like once it dries and all that i'll go back in and trim it down but the rule of thumb is you would rather the hair be too long than too short because i've definitely trimmed baby hair way too short many of times and it is a hassle to make it look natural because it's way too short now normally again I always do two swoops today I did I think like five swoops so this here is pretty much a swoop around the ear now the ear tab is definitely not bonded down so this is pretty much a finesse to kind of cover that up I do have really thick sideburns it makes it even harder to bond down the wig I'm around my sideburns so for the sake of day to day I kind of just don't really fuss with it um, I'll do my best to keep it looking natural and I'll cut out all the excess so it's just not hanging there but normally I'll do something like this to finesse and make it look like it's bonded down and kind of just tuck it behind the ear. So that's a rule of thumb because, you know, normally I would like cut down um, and shave my sideburns. But I am three months postpartum from having my baby. So postpartum alopecia is coming up soon. So I'm not cutting or trimming anything around my hairline. Trust me, <laughs> postpartum will take care of that for me. So this is like three days later. I actually wore the wig um, for about three days before I was able to finish this tutorial. Hashtag mom life. So I've been wearing it in a straight natural state and this is how it's held up. I really haven't um, like retouched up the straightening or anything like that. I've just literally been, um, you know, wearing it 
in a bonnet at night and just keeping up with it so i'm going to refresh it with a little bit of a serum of course everything i use is in the description box also i did go ahead oh and this is what it looks like straight a little bit back so it is nice and full and if you want it even fuller you can definitely sew or glue in extra tracks always keep that in mind when it comes to your lace wigs now we're going to do the wand curling. I am curling away from the face. You can also add some layers with your shears if you want to. I kind of like to add uh, layers myself, but I've heard that it's better to add layers after you've cut, or I'm sorry, curled the hair. So I'm definitely going to be trying that soon to see how that works because normally I would trim um, and shape the hair before I add my curls. Also, I was gonna let you guys know, I did go ahead and co-wash this one before I started the tutorial, and it made a huge difference being able to, um, you know, wash it and get to know the hair and make sure that it's not gonna shed or do anything crazy. And of course, it is much more sanitary. Um, another thing is normally I would go in and add a little bit of powder in the parting specifically a contour powder and I would leave the one I used linked in the description box but it completely slipped my mind in this tutorial to go in and open up the parting a little bit so that definitely will bump up the look and make it look even better also I've been using a great lace tint but again the lace tint will go under the lace and kind of help the lace to blend with your complexion but in this case you don't need it because it's fake scalp obviously but if you want to open up the parting as i said before instead of like tweezing it out and like pulling hair out i would definitely go in with the powder and it would make a huge huge difference <laughs> So on this side, I did not add any product other than the serum and you guys can kind of see how the curls are coming along. Even though the clips are fast forwarding, you can kind of see I'm not really cutting too much. So you guys can see I kind of hold it there for a little bit. Now normally you can hold it there for like 5 seconds and the curl is super tight. So I'm not sure if I needed to add a little bit of a holding spray or if my wand curler is going out on me. But I'm definitely going to be ordering new wand curlers um, pretty soon just to try something new but again I love the way this look came out in the end once I brushed out the curls it had a nice sexy beach wave to it and of course like I said before you can add a little bit of layer especially around the face and it's gonna make a huge difference in making this wig look so 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 good Now, are you guys like me, like my other side? It's so easy to do the curls, but on this side, it's a little bit harder. So I did struggle, which means I did it off camera. Nonetheless, the curls on this side came out much better because I used my shaper's holding spray. And don't mind me, I was definitely trying to get a thumbnail in during the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And again, don't forget to check out the description box. Okay, so it's been a minute. Um, I went ahead and... have hairspray on my hands so of course it's like that bitter taste but it's been a little bit minute it's blah, blah, blah. it's been a minute since I curled my hair I went ahead and curled it and took a break to take care of little mama but this is pretty much the final result again I sat down and did the breastfeeding thing so it kind of got a little bit frizzy but you guys get the picture now I do love these these are my favorite of all time if you've been following me for a while you know like when I first started um I got the idea from Ming Lee um snob life studio owner um she I used to watch her tutorials and she taught or she didn't teach me directly but um I learned how to do the pronto from her before I even learned how to like install wigs and stuff so for a long time I was doing the pronto where I was like braiding up my hair and sewing the net down and gluing pretty much gluing the wig or the tracks to my head i can't talk i'm talking gibberish but anyways 
back then she used to swear by the Sebastian Shapers and so I got into it and I've loved them ever since. Of course I've tried other products since then but I always go back to Shapers. So um, I have a jar here and I've been using this one I feel like since I moved to this townhouse and it's pretty much gone. It's like a little bit probably like way down to the bottom. You probably can't tell the difference, but I can say I'm going to run out like any minute. So I ran into my local TJ Maxx yesterday, and luckily they had the Shapers and the Shapers Plus. And if you go to TJ Maxx, or at least mine, they're $7.99 a piece um, compared at $14. But, I'm dead. but of course, I'll have them linked down below. Now, I get the Sebastian Shapers, which is this one. And then I get the Sebastian Shapers Plus. So one has a plus. Sorry, I'm in shambles right now. So one just says Sebastian Shapers and the other says Sebastian Shapers Plus. And the difference is obviously, I'm pretty sure you guys will know, but this one is a stronger hold. So like when you guys see me like put a little of my hairline and then use the hot comb to kind of like press it out or like put it in the root, like in lieu of my wax stick. I use the regular shapers and that's because it has a light, light, a super light hold, just enough so that um, it does its job but it doesn't add the crunch and it doesn't leave that residue, whereas the plus is obviously a stronger hold so the curls will be a little bit more crunchy and it will have that residue. So I do use them interchangeably. You guys seen I started over here and all I did was use my Bio Silk Serum and I felt like the curls were exactly what I want but of course they're going to drop so I kind of felt like it needed a little something. So I used the regular Sebastian shapers and just sprayed it on the hair and then I did it on this side. I don't know if you guys can see but these curls over here are a little bit more defined than these curls and that's because all of these were done with Sebastian shapers. Again, I sprayed it before I sprayed it and then I kind of like combed or brushed it out and then just piece by piece wand curled it away from my face and it worked out whereas these, I don't know if you guys can tell but they have a little bit less hold and I put the shapers after the curls were formed. Hopefully that makes sense but I'm just going to take my fingers. I kind of feel like this is going to help the hair to look a lot more sexy and voluminous opposed to the defined curls. You can definitely keep the curls defined as well, especially if you're like going somewhere um, and you want to hold on to the curls and so they don't drop as much. And of course, this is just a, sip, a simple sexy wand curl look. This isn't meant to be like super tight, you know, Shirley Temple curls. This is just supposed to be like simple, fun, defined curls. And I definitely like the way it came out. I've been using the wand curler I've been using for a while. And this one I get from Amazon. It comes with, I think, three or four barrels. And um, it makes different good curls. I do think it's time to replace it because I kind of felt like the curls weren't as defined as they normally are. So I don't know if it's the hair or the wand curlers. But there is definitely a few brands of um, products that I want to try. Um, a lot of people use Kendra's Boutique Curler. I love the way theirs look with the rhinestones. So I think I'm going to order a few products from them. And then also, um, I was just talking about Ming Lee. She also has a brand, I believe. The EAP brand is her brand, I believe. So I did want to order like the electric hot comb from her brand and maybe like a wand curler or a curling iron and the same from Kendra's Boutique. Just because you guys know, I love doing these two tutorials for you guys but I don't want them to get mundane so I like to do different things and I definitely want to try different products out for you guys. Also, um, I am going to be doing a burgundy look. I just lost my train of thought. What was I going to say? Not the burgundy look. So I was about to say something I think it was important, but I lost my train of thought. Hopefully it'll come back. But again, this wig came from Superb Wig. As you guys seen, I was able to go ahead and co-wash it, allow it to air dry. It's actually been like ready to go for like a week and I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. You guys see the hair is nice and voluminous and gorgeous and I am absolutely pleased with this one. Um, lately, I've been loving the baby hair a lot. You know, it's my favorite, but you know, normally I'll do the two swoops here, but I've been craving to do um, 
the center swoop as well so I added that after the fact and I like the way it came out again the baby hair is not always everyone's cup of tea and of course if it's crunchy for you just use like your your rat tail comb or like one of these and just kind of like brush it out I'm not gonna brush it out just yet just because I'm about to wrap my hair up and of course if you want to wrap your curls up you can do like little buns to kind of um, keep the curl or you can use flexi rods also I know some of you are gonna ask and I don't have comments still I'm sorry I still don't have comments but somebody's gonna ask what this lip is I haven't had time to really do eyeshadow but I've been wanting to switch up my makeup look so I am gonna be trying different combos because I have so many lipsticks especially from Mac so this one is flat out fabulous from Mac I line my lips with chestnut normally I would do a red or not a red a fuchsia lip liner like magenta from Mac or something like that but I decided to switch it up at the last minute and I actually actually I actually like the way it came out so again I'm gonna be switching up my lip combos and stuff like that just to kind of give you guys something fun also that's what I was gonna say when I lost my train of thought I also want to switch up the hair tutorials now normally I do just straight dedicated hair tutorials but coming up I'm gonna do more get ready with me so I've been into fashion and ordering tons of clothes I'm not pregnant anymore so I'm gonna be doing get ready with me's where I go ahead and I do like my makeup my hair sometimes I'll do an outfit with it and kind of like put together a look for you guys so that is something fun and a little bit different let me know if that is something you guys are interested in thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to check out superb wig all the information on you want to tell them baby again thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to check out superb wig information on this wig is in the description box i absolutely loved it and had no complaints also a list of all the items i used to achieve this look obviously are in the description box as always and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches <laughs>